Welcome back to the children's moment. When we look around us and check out social media and are searching for ways to make ourselves feel better, you will find there are lots of sayings like, believe in your infinite potential. Your potential is endless and stop limiting your potential. But what is potential? And who is in charge of what you can do with your potential? Is it really you and you alone? Let's use some science to explain what I mean or potentially answer this question. The word potential is used to describe stored energy. This means that an object has energy that it is not using yet. For example, take this rubber band. What would happen if I let it go? It would go flying. That's right. But it's not flying right now. So this is what potential energy looks like. This means that the band could fly, but it is not yet. As Emma holds the rubber band stretched tight as it can go, don't you want her to let it fly? Isn't it frustrating to see all this potential energy just sitting here doing nothing? Yes. Ah, uh, that feels better. When the rubber band goes flying, we call that kinetic energy, which is when energy is in motion. Another example is a ping pong ball. When I'm just holding it, we say it has potential energy. But then when I drop it, we call that kinetic energy. Now, I have the ping pong ball and a tennis ball. When I drop the ping pong ball, it bounces pretty good, but it doesn't bounce up as high as my hand was. Now, let's say that this ping pong ball is you or me. Everyone has potential. We're working our way, using our potential to the best of our abilities. We might even be doing okay trusting in our own abilities. But let's be honest, we don't have that great of kinetic energy. We certainly aren't going to bounce up to the ceiling. I wonder what I could use this tennis ball for. Hmm. All right, for the next part of our experiment, I'm going to drop the tennis ball with the ping pong ball on top of it. Okay, let's see what happens. Woo! The ping pong ball went much higher and further when I dropped it with the tennis ball. Now let's imagine that this tennis ball is God. And when we not let God guide us, our potential and kinetic energy is so much greater. Now let's see if we can do it again. Woo! There we go. Now that we finished our experiment, let's answer the question I asked in the beginning. Is it really you alone who is in charge of your potential and what you can do with it? Well, it can be. But we saw what happened when I dropped the ping pong ball by itself. It did okay, but it didn't have great energy. Then, when I dropped the ping pong ball with the tennis ball, it went flying. It had so much more kinetic energy with the tennis ball. When you're not working alone, when God is working with you, your potential can be much, much greater. We hope you guys all have a great week, and I'm just going to leave you with a verse. It's from Philippians 4, verse 13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Bye.